Hey guys, so today I want to take a little bit of a quick look here, uh, maybe a more in-depth look in the future if people do want to see that, but the S3 Mini here, uh, which has a 1 GHz dual-core processor, Mali 400 GPU, the latest version of Android, or at least Jelly Bean running here, uh, versus the Galaxy Trend that uh, costs around half the price, but then you you, you do get a single core, uh, I'm pretty sure Core is A5 GPU, and um, a, only a Adreno 200 GPU. Let's see here if we can close down. You can see that it could be a little bit slow, and uh, I'll definitely do more videos. You may have to want to raise memories, memory sometime to speed it up a little bit. So I want to take a quick look here at the difference in speed uh, between single core Cortex A5 versus uh, this Cortex A9 dual core that you do get in S3 Mini. And also these have different displays. This is a TFT display, this is a uh, Super AMOLED display. And then there are also a bunch of other things that is a little bit different when we compare these devices like the back here of them. I per personally do think this one feels a little bit better, like almost like a chrome feel. Uh, well, this one's a little bit more glossy. So G GTI 8190 versus S7560. And I was a little bit disappointed, or kind of a lot disappointed, that you only get Android uh, 4.0 ice cream sandwich on this new Galaxy Trend uh, that they haven't been able to stuff in the latest uh, Jelly Bean version of Android inside of this one. Huh, pretty interesting still in, in terms of startup here. Let's see here, you can see that this one has to load some stuff. Wow, that looks weird. So this should be some kind of widget. Uh, I'm not sure why it looks so weird. But it looks totally messed up. I mean, there's really, really a big difference in Jelly Bean version of Android and Ice Cream Sandwich, from my experience, in terms of speed. And um, I'm really not sure if this Galaxy Trend here is gonna get that latest version. It kind of sucks if it's not going to get it because I really think that that would help this phone a lot uh, in terms of speed. Right now it may be doing something in the background like trying to load or let's see here if it's trying to load my Gmail and stuff because that, that that's like background stuff that you can't really see. Uh, let's see here, accounts. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so I have no sync, I have no like syncing turned off and everything, but still feels a little bit slow here. I'm not sure what it could be, but it could be something random. Uh, versus of course the dual core processor here, which is really, really snappy uh, compared to this. So just a quick little look here in boot speed. Uh, I can definitely do more in the videos. I mean, there's a big difference also in terms of gaming, Mali 400 versus uh, only the Adreno 200 GPU, so I might be taking a closer look at that in gaming in future videos, if people are interested, of course. Yeah, have a good day.